I'm Melissa Shannon and today I'm going to show you how to create an easy paper rosette from your scraps. I hope you enjoy my tips. Today we've got a few basic tools that we'll use. Roller. some scissors as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, just fold my paper using this metal ruler to get me started and then it's just a matter of flipping and folding. Now I don't do anything fancy here. I am not even measuring. I'm not ruling. I'm just folding. So it may not get a perfectly flat rosette at the end. So if that's something that's important to you, you may want to um, score using a scoreboard. Um, at regular intervals or... Um, rule your paper. Another option would be to just get um, an embossing tool like this and use the ruler to you um, using the lines on your mat, your calf mat. if you can see what I'm doing a bit better from this angle. Just scoring along the markings of my mat. I've got little dots that um, are halfway along. And then once you've scored it, you might be able to see that there. You just fold back and forth along those lines. entirely sure that this is much easier than just folding freehand, but it's an option. So as you can see, I'm just using those as fold marks. Before I stick it down, I just even out all the sections of my rosette. And then for something in the middle, just some Kaiser Craft Bling Light Purple. of my mat. I've got little dots that um, are halfway along. And then once you've scored it, you might be able to see that there. You just fold back and forth along those lines. 
So once you've got your paper folded up, the next step is to just put some glue on one half of your um, concertina. Fold it in half as best you can. The edges line up there. And unfurl it. So in my case I've got three pieces for my rosette here. Not sure if I'm going to use all three or just use two. Maybe I do need three. In that case what I do is I just roll my adhesive on and make sure that I line up the tops here. Not too worried about the bottoms because I can fix that. Just pop some more glue on to both sides of the last piece. So now I fiddle around with my little um, rosette here, just even out the, the little folds in it. Because it's got this nice big hole in the middle, I'm just going to decorate it with some flowers. Again, just using some Christmas flowers, but you know, white. Now if I wanted to, I could even use some of these holly leaves and um, you can just tear off one of the leaves and add it for a bit of a green touch. I mean, I don't think it looks too much like holly actually there, but if you were worried, um, just round off the edges. If you'd like to learn more about me and what I do, you can head over to mshannon.com. That's M-S-H-A-N-H-U-N.com.